The screencast is primarily about using linked folders in Eclipse, and I'm using the NetBurner embedded processor, which has a built-in web server, and I like to share an HTML folder, and it's the associated CSS and script files among various projects. And along the way, we'll look at some more advanced features of Eclipse for doing this. So to get started, let's just come and let's create a new project. And we want a NetBurner project. We're going to create a test file for the library. And the test file, this wants to be an executable. So let's give it a name. Underscore test. And we'll set up, do the standard steps for setting up a NetBurner project. Find the device out there on the LAN that we're going to test. And then let's have it do a couple of the nice features of the NetBurner and put in the web server. Let's just configure some basic code for us and includes. Okay, so here's our test and let's go ahead and just finish setting them up. We're going to go to properties and uh, use a lot of C++ um, advanced features and the defaults do not put together the, all the includes I need. So let's go here under the source file and let's add some of those includes. I just like to type in um, a path that gets me, so that when I hit file system, it takes me there. I mean, it doesn't actually open the include folder. Uh, so I want GCC, GCC, um, include C++, 421. Okay. So I want that one. Okay, so we have the basic C++ include files that we need and everything builds fine. So now let's go do the linked folder. Same place, you go back to properties and under paths and symbols use the source location tab and you want to say link a folder. But um, let's just say link to a folder in the file system. And since I'm going to do this for every project I've already set up a, a variable but you could just browse to it. Um, but it's easier even doing it the first time because using this dialog you can browse to it too by clicking new. But there's the folder I want. So we just click on it and say OK. And it's gonna you can change the name, but I like the default name. It's the same as the variable. And say OK. And then while we're here, I, if you got out and tried to build, this wouldn't work just yet. And the reason is the um, comp HTML tool for NetBurner doesn't see that path, that linked folder, it doesn't see it. So you can come into your settings for that tool right here and just replace this with a little bit of magic that I'll explain in a second. Um, for some reason if you use the same variable with that absolute path this doesn't like that either so I just discovered that it using a relative path works so and the way you do that is under Windows preferences so under here under build variables. I just went and did an add and you can see from the project I went up two levels down to my library to the HTML folder. You can probably see this easier there. The last thing we need to do here is we should be able to come in here at properties and go back to our settings and go to the libraries and just reference the library itself. And there it is. And since I'm here, I'm going to add in my unit testing framework. Okay. And now our build's complete and looks like everything's working. Let's go create a new run configuration. Okay. Okay, we're rebooted. Let's bring up a browser, go to the IP address of the web server. There's our basic page, and then there won't be any unit tests yet. So we get our basic test runner page and nothing nothing really happens. Okay, good. Let's go add the tests. We already have some tests that were already written for pieces of this library, so let's just go import them into this particular project. 
and we won't link this time we'll just actually import files and let's just go ahead and bring and okay so we didn't uh, the include path to the unit test wasn't done yet so let's do that Okay, we uh, can't find the JSON creator.h file, and there's a there's actually two problems going on. First, we haven't linked the include directory to the source file, and secondly, let's look at the library. I've reorganized it, and now the JSON um, files are under a folder called JSON. So let's fix that first. But we'll still need to make a reference by going to properties on our test. Just uh, go to C++. Say add workspace. Go to the library we're testing and go to the source files. Okay, okay, now it'll get the include files for that. And while we're here, we still haven't, the, the testing wants to do um, exception checking. So let's go ahead and turn that on. So under the C miscellaneous setting, let's allow exceptions. And now let's say okay. Now we've got a good clean build, and we can go take a look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and load that one. Switch back to our web browser. Let's reload the page. And then our tests come in. So we can run those, or all of them. So there you go, that's how you use a linked folder so that you don't have to keep making copies and making multiple updates. You can just make any of your changes right in the, the source location to the HTML, to the scripts or the CSS files and use them in multiple projects.